In the past year alone here on the Gold Coast, we've experienced a pandemic, bushfires, flash flooding, and the storm season has already begun. So I'm at the SES headquarters at Runaway Bay to find out how to get ready for what's to come next. So this coming season, we are coming into a very wet season. So making sure that if we did need to evacuate through any sort of floods or cyclones or storms, that we've got our emergency kits ready and our evacuation kits ready. So your emergency kit, it's those things that you would need in those next 24, 36 or 48 hours to get through. So something to cook with, um, some lighting, some um, food, some of the essentials that you may need for your family. This year it's a COVID environment. Do we have those hand sanitizers, the face masks, all those extras that we may need outside of our home? Many of us know to have an emergency kit at home, but what many of us don't realise is it's essential to have one in your car as well. We don't know what's going to happen when we're out and about. And with so many more of us on the road during school holiday periods or Christmas holiday periods, we definitely want those during those peak times of storms and floods. Now we've got the emergency kit, but we also need to have a plan in place. Absolutely. And we don't have to come up with these on the spot. We've got great resources on the City of Gold Coast website to have a look and see what is it I need in my plan? What is it I need for my family? What is it I need for my pets? These plans are really easy to use. Lines for you to fill in the blanks on really simple questions on what you should already know about your locality, the risks in your locality, but also what items you need. Emily, what do Gold Coasters need to do to make your job easier this season? Um, so we ask the public to have their roof gutters clean, to ensure that they're tying down any loose debris around the yard and securing pets. Um, we also ask the public to beware um, of fallen power lines and also if they're out and caught in a storm, if it's flooded, forget it. We're in the throes of La Nina. The last time it was 2010, 2011. How does this year compare? Yes, you're right, we are in La Nina and this year is comparatively a little bit drier to what we saw in 10 and 11. Uh, the saturation points for the ground, for the dams, etc., is that little bit lower. So we are a little bit ahead comparatively to 10 11. When it comes to La Nina though, we do need to expect severe weather, lots of storms, lots of rain, and that's why you need to have an emergency kit and emergency plan in place. So as we have a responsibility uh, as individuals to be prepared, we also need to check on our neighbours and making sure that as a community that we're helping each other so we can stay safe this storm season. So Gold Coasters, it's time to get ready. Download your Preparing for Natural Disasters guide from the City of Gold Coast website. It has everything you need for the season ahead.